Alright guys, currently unloading. We had to switch it up. We had a different disposal this time. Show you what all they got. Cup noodles, Pringles, popcorn, some uh, peanuts and stuff. Zero sugar uh, Mountain Dew. I never tried this before, that's why I grabbed it. Got chicken sandwich for later on. Um, plenty of chips and stuff. Then right here, inside of here, got hot dog buns, got burritos. I don't know what that is, but that's interesting. Got bacon cheeseburgers. That's what I just grabbed. Got some uh, chuck wagon. Look like some ham and something so they got that over there they had cooked some earlier pancake mix and stuff you want to make some pancakes water mountain dew bunch of condiments and stuff look like some salad in there eggs got some butter but ground beef you want to Grab one roll and take it with you. Got some coffee. Yeah, I cut some earlier. It might be tea, so I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, know my fat ass with, with the giant burrito. Yeah, we're gonna be done for the night. All for free and not the fee. So. Every disposal got something different. Oh, they may actually have something. Oh, I need to figure out where I need to leave my ticket at. Just give me one second. What's going on, good people? I gotta keep that money rolling in out here in North Dakota, baby. Snowstorm hit as y'all can see, but we still getting to the money. We ain't gonna let no snow, ice, rain, sleet, cold weather, freezing weather, your weather, my weather, slow us down. We got to get the money, baby. You can see we got the water tank out, three axles. It's just me out here, nobody else. Got some wheels over there. They electric, by the way. We got some tanks back here we load from. So y'all can see we got the hose out right there, getting that good old, good grade, baby. Good grade product up out there. Got a couple of questions. First question, what do we shower at? Good question, we shower at the terminal. You can shower 24 hours. Any day you go, all you gotta do is go up to the terminal, you can shower, you can also get food there and get fuel. So that's where you'll shower at. Uh, I'm not sure if the truck stops got showers here or not. The ones I've been to, I don't think they do. But all the truck drivers around here, at least the ones that work in my company, we are within 30 minutes of our terminal. So we take showers there, we wash our clothes down. And we get free food there, just like the disposals itself. Some of the disposals got snacks. I'm actually going to take this to a different disposal. You know, try to see uh, what else they got around here. Somebody tell me another disposal pay more money to deliver this to. Second question, how do we get paid? Man, my phone can't hold memory for nothing, y'all. Second question, how do we get paid? We get paid by the hour. If you're doing service work, we get paid by the barrel. If you're doing production work, this right here is production. The difference between production and service work, even though service work do pay by the hour, it pays great money by the hour, but I find that this right here is a lot faster. I'm gonna tell you why. You see, I'm the only person out here, right? Well, I could get paid, you know, by the hour, or I could like show up the hill, hook up this one hole, start loading myself. It take me like 20 minutes to load. Drive 18 miles down the road, rehook up another hose like this into another tank, deliver, do that with all in like between like 30 to 45 minutes, and I make more money than I would have doing hourly work, okay? Hourly works as if uh, you just want to, uh, I guess, not rush, not go so fast. You want to take your time, you do the hourly work, you know? Because this production, getting paid by the load or by the barrel, pays by the barrel, but we're going to say by the load. You got to have some hustle in you, baby. You see, there's money out here. You may have to hook up some chains. I got, look, I got to climb up out of here. Look, 
Remember, when I go out there, you see that? I gotta climb up there, right there, and own up out of here, all right? So, you know, sometimes you might have to chain in the mud. I'm not seeking in the mud right here, so we good. But you know, right now everything is melting, the roads is cleared up now. North Dakota did a good job clearing the roads. But uh, at nighttime, all this is gonna refreeze. It's supposed to get down like five degrees or something like that. So tomorrow we're gonna expect a lot of ice and a lot of chaining tires, depending on where you're going. Every day is different. You get a lot of skills when you come out here to North Dakota, baby. Heavy haul. Get to learn how to do some heavy haul work. I need four axles. I didn't master the three axles. It's time for four. Push your axle up that way. Chain and tires. Cold weather. No excuses, baby. No excuses. A lot of y'all messaging me. I understand y'all desperate for a job and y'all think this is the only job in America paying some money. I, I, look, I understand. It's tough out there. A lot of y'all been waiting to, waiting six months patiently. Where's Andrew? What is he gonna do next for money, man? We ain't got no authority. We ain't got no pneumatic tanker. We can't follow him and see where he get these customers from. What is he gonna go back W2, man, so we can all just show up to his company and get some money, man? Cause he the one be doing all the research. We don't do no research. He do all the research. We just follow. Whatever job he go to, we going to. Whoever he dating, that's who we try to date too. So, come on, Andrew. Tell us where you work. I'm in North Dakota. Catch y'all in the next video.